You know the place with the relentless sun, an endless wave of sand dunes, where your sunscreen would literally melt off your face in 30 seconds? Yes, I'm talking about the Sahara Desert, the Earth's very own oven set at high 24-7. With over 9 million square kilometers of pure heat and sand, the Sahara is the world's largest hot desert and typically one of the driest spots on Earth. But not anymore. You see, NASA has released satellite images showing an unexpected and shocking shift. Green everywhere. Plants are popping up everywhere across Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia and Libya. So are we in the middle of some eco-friendly miracle? Or is the climate change hitting really hard on us? Fun fact or terrifying fact, depending on your view, thousands of years ago the Sahara wasn't the dry, sandy beast we know today. It was a lush, thriving environment with rivers, lakes and forests. I mean, ancient hippos were out there in what's now a scourging desert. And it looks like the Sahara might be going back in time again. While the idea of plants growing in the desert sounds ecologically good, this might be nature's way of saying it's going to get rough. Recently, NASA's satellite images have captured the Sahara's dramatic transformation from lifeless beige to burst of green. But we need to understand why this is happening and what it means. Well, this is not just some random plant growing. What is really responsible is the rain and lots of rain. Heavy rainfall has been drenched in North Africa, way more than what's considered normal. We're talking about flash floods in countries like Niger, Chad, Sudan and even Egypt, where just a few months ago, people were praying for a drop of rain to cool things off. The Sahara is now about six times wetter than usual. Six times. Climate change, of course, is behind the sudden rainfall. Normally, dry places are drowning in rain. And ironically, places like Nigeria and Cameroon, which usually rely on this storm system for their rainy season, are now left high and dry. So it's like the Sahara borrowed their rain and forgot to return it. The problem is that these are not just some innocent rain showers. They are more like climate warning in disguise. Sure, the greenery looks good, but this is a sign of bigger issues to come. The Sahara is becoming an unsettling example of how climate change is shifting our planet's weather patterns. So, is the Sahara's green shift something to celebrate? Not really. The sudden increase in rain is messing with ecosystems, displacing people, and creating floods that have affected millions across North Africa. Plus, when the rains eventually stop, and they will, we will likely see an equally dramatic return to dryness, and all the complications that come with it. In the end, seeing greenery in the Sahara Desert seems cool, but we shouldn't get distracted by the beauty of it. Behind every green shoot is a bigger story about climate change, shifting storm systems, and a very real impact on people and ecosystems. So we might want to brace ourselves for what's coming next, because if the Sahara is acting up, who knows what's next on nature's to-do list.